children how are you all quickly give me a big smile so that i can get the energy to talk about something really interesting do you know the name of our country well i can see some of you do know the name of our country is india and we also call it by the name bharat and because we live in india we are all indians that is right and today i have some of my friends who are coming here from different states of our country and they are going to tell us something about them i am sure you are going to enjoy knowing about them so are you ready because my friend is about to enter namaskar my name is minakshi i come from tamil nadu i speak tamil my favorite festival is pongal what is your name i am ramu i come from gujarat i speak gujarati i like to dance darba i am 7 years old how old are you my name is gulabu I come from Rajasthan. I like to wearing colorful clothes. I enjoy seeing puppet shows. I travel by camel. How do you travel? I am Badal. I come from Bengal. I speak Bengali. I like painting and music. I study at Shantiniketan. Where do you study? We just met Minakshi from Tamil Nadu. Ramu from Gujarat, Gulabo from Rajasthan and Badal from Bengal. They shared some interesting information about them. Now it's time to meet few more friends. So let's welcome them one by one. Namaste. My name is Vibha. I come from Maharashtra. I speak Marathi. Once I visited Ellora and Ajanta Caves. Have you travel anywhere? I am Surinder. I come from Punjab. I speak Punjabi. My neighbor Malika likes to do Bhangra. Which dance do you like? I am Neja. I come from Uttar Pradesh. I have seen the Taj Mahal. Have you seen any monument? My name is Naulik. I come from Manipur. I speak Manipuri. Which language do you speak? I hope you all enjoyed knowing about Vibha from Maharashtra, Surinder from Punjab, Neerja from Uttar Pradesh and Noglik from Manipur. They also asked some interesting questions. I hope you could answer them. Now, let's move on to meet few more friends from some other states of our country. Are you ready? So let's go. My name is Kamla. I come from Karnataka. I speak Kannada. I play the mridang. Do you play any musical instrument? Bharti is my name. I come from Andhra Pradesh. I speak Telugu during my summer holidays. I go to Kashmir and stay with my friends Salma and Suresh. Where do you go for your holidays? We are two sister. We belong to Odisha. We speak Odia. We decorate our floors and walls. Do you have any sister or brother? Namaskaram. My name is Unni. I come from Kerala. I speak Malayalam. My favorite tree is the coconut tree. Which tree do you like? Thank you. Kamla from Karnataka, Bharti from Andhra Pradesh, two sisters from Odisha and Unni from Kerala for sharing such interesting details about yourself. But we are all Indians. Each of us is unique. After meeting these children, I realized one thing that we all may live in different states, but we are all Indians. each of us is unique so we should respect one another because we belong to the same country and we all are humans holding the love for our country let us speak what do you say when 
you want to enter the classroom you want to visit the washroom you want to borrow a book from your friend you hurt someone by mistake or you need a pencil and your friend gives you a pencil tell me what do you say in all these situations now it is time to choose a partner ask one another the following questions and reply accordingly what language do you speak can you speak more than one language which is your favorite dish which is your favorite tree and similarly you can ask more questions to one another and get to know more about each other draw one thing that you like most in your home it could be the fan above you tv on your screen the remote control a jug a glass or anything that you like in your house maybe a toy of yours let us speak but while we are speaking them you need to observe the spellings yes you will find something similar in most of the words let us see bread bridge brown frock frame frog try repeating these words on your own you will have fun focus on how these words are pronounced what you have to do now is frame sentences using the words we just spoke yes all the set of words given on the previous page of your book let us see the example everybody it was a bright sunny day my brother went to buy bread he crossed the bridge to reach the shop did you see how the words were used in these sentences this is what you have to do let us write now it is time to do something even more interesting are you all ready because i am so let's get started discuss with anybody around you and answer the following questions what do we call the people who live in india i will give you a hint for that remember the name of the chapter we all are that's right indians The next question is name the festival of colors. I'm sure you know that. Which festival do you like the most and why? Now it is time to move to the next task which is rearrange the jumbled letters. The answers will be the names of languages. That is right. we met some of our friends who spoke different languages now here these are jumbled up words you will enjoy solving them just like you enjoy puzzles the first one is i n h d i can you think which language is that think i will not tell you the answer because it is very easy and i know you will guess it second g n i e l h s yes i am sure you could find it easily let's move to the next one r u u d do you know which language is that and the final one is e l u t g you can you find that one well that's a challenge from my side i hope you enjoyed the challenge that i gave you to solve the jumbled up words which were languages which are spoken in various states of our country now let's move on and join the given sentences using but yes but is a very important word it helps us join two sentences For example, sentence one: I like to eat mangoes. Sentence two: I don't like to eat apples. 
So let us see how we join these together. I like to eat mangoes, but I don't like to eat apples. Now write answers for the given sentences in the same way. Sentence 1 is I like milk. Sentence 2 is I don't like tea. Now try joining these two by adding but in between. Sentence 1 is My grandfather is old. Sentence 2 He is strong. Let's move to the third one. Sentence 1 is I wanted to go out. Sentence 2 I was too tired. Try joining it. Now it's time to do something even more interesting. That's right. You have to do some matching. Are you ready? Then let's start. Match the fruits to the tree they grow on. That's right. There are some fruits in front of you and there are some trees in front of you. You have to match the fruit with their tree. The fruits are banana, coconut, apple, grapes, mango. And the trees are coconut tree, apple tree, banana tree, mango tree and grapevine. That's right. Enjoy matching them. Remember, the fruit grows on its tree. Try to see the link between the two and you will be able to do it easily. Now we will be meeting in the next episode. Till that time, keep exploring, keep seeing the world around you. Bye-bye. Have fun.